Welcome back to another video, Soil here, and today I want to talk about Fibonacci levels and how you can use them in trading. This is a complete guide to Fibonacci levels and you're going to learn how you can work with the most common Fibonacci tools like Fibonacci retracement, extension, arcs, fan, and time zone. Without wasting any more time, let's get started. First, let me explain very shortly what Fibonacci numbers are for those who are not familiar with the series of numbers. Fibonacci series start with 0 and 1 and after that, any number that comes in the series is the sum of two previous numbers. The Fibonacci series is like this as you can see but this is not all and there are some amazing facts about these numbers. If we divide any number by the previous number the result is approximately equal to 1.618. Actually when we move forward and the numbers increase the result gets closer and closer to 1.618. If we divide any number by the next number which is higher the result is approximately 0.618 and similarly the result gets closer to this as we move forward and the numbers increase. If we divide any number by another number two places higher the result is approximately 0.382 uh, with the result getting closer to this as the numbers increase. And also notice that 1 minus 0.618 equals 0.382. And if we divide any number by another number three places higher the result is approximately 0.236 with the result getting closer to this as we move forward forward and the numbers increase. The ratio of 1.618 is called golden ratio and 0.618 is the inverse of golden ratio. These amazing ratios are widely found in nature, biology and architecture. For example, these ratios are found in human faces or animal bodies like snail shells. They can be found in fruits, flowers, formation of rocks, spiral galaxies and many many other examples that are associated with these ratios generated from Fibonacci numbers. All right, now you may ask what's the relevance of these ratios to financial markets? What they have to do with trading? For unknown reason, these ratios have applications in financial markets and they play a role in trading for identifying support and resistance levels because many traders use these tools and believe that these Fibonacci levels work, these levels become self-fulfilling and in practice you see that these levels work pretty well which is because of all the pending orders and trading actions that happen near these levels. Now you may wonder, okay, how these Fibonacci levels or ratios are used for identifying support and resistance levels. Let's begin with Fibonacci retracement tool, which is the most popular one between all the Fibonacci tools. By the help of Fibonacci retracement tool, in counter trend movements, we can anticipate the extent of corrections or pullbacks. In other words, to forecast where the price is going to stop and turn back again in the direction of the trend. For using Fibonacci retracement tool, we must find the recent swing highs and lows. When we are in an uptrend we click on the swing low or in other words uh, the starting point of the advance and then we click on the most recent swing high actually the end of the advance and when we are in a downtrend we do the opposite we click on the swing high and then on the most recent swing low as you can see we have some horizontal lines which are actually Fibonacci retracement levels with some associated percentages that I've already explained how they are calculated the only exception is the 50% level which is not a Fibonacci Fibonacci ratio and we have it here in this tool because based on the DAW theory 50% of the prior move usually provides a retracement level. The whole idea with these levels is that they provide support level in the pullbacks when the price is in an uptrend or resistance level when the price is in a downtrend and they help us in counter trend movement to forecast where the price is going to stop and turn back in the direction of the trend which provides us the opportunity of entering a trade in the direction of the trend. 23 point 0.6% retracement level is relatively small and considered shallow in terms of depth and retracement on this level sometimes can be seen in the form of flag and pennant patterns. 38.2% to 50% is considered moderate and the deeper one 61.8% is called golden retracement and it's usually the last stop for the price if the trend is strong enough to continue its direction. And the 78% level is a critical level for the prior move to survive and and recover. For example, on this chart here, you can see that after this advancing of the price, we had a pullback at the 50% level. Actually, the price went down somewhere near 61.8% and then turned back and the candle closed at 50% level. At this level, the pullback ended and as you can see, the price advanced and made a higher high. Uh, here you can see that the price is going down again, possibly another correction or pullback. We draw Fibonacci retracement for this advancing of the price and as you can see, 
again at somewhere near 50% level, the price stopped. Actually, the pullback ended and the price turned back to the direction of the trend. Trends do not move on a direct line all the way up or down and we have always corrections or pullbacks. So if you haven't been able to enter a trend because of its sharp move, you can wait for the pullbacks to enter the trend and these horizontal levels, which are based on Fibonacci ratios, provide you some possible support or resistance levels that the price actually retraces on these levels so you can have an evaluation on how much the counter trend move uh, can continue or where it's possibly gonna stop and turn. Just one important point that you must pay attention is that Fibonacci retracement levels are just alert zones and any turning from these levels must also be confirmed by other tools and concepts of technical analysis. I have a video pullback versus reversal which is about how a pullback can be confirmed by a set of tools and concepts. There I explain how Fibonacci retracement levels can be used in conjunction with other tools and aspects of technical analysis for confirming pullbacks. The link is also in the description of this video and I highly recommend you to watch it later because it shows you how you can use these levels in practice. All right, the next Fibonacci tool I want to explain is Fibonacci extension tool, which also gives uh, some possible support and resistance levels, but Fibonacci extension helps us to find out where the price is headed in the direction of the trend. So when we are in an uptrend, it helps us to forecast the new peaks of the price or higher highs after pullbacks or corrections. And when we are in a downtrend, the new lower lows after the pullbacks, this tool is actually helpful for discovering where the price is headed. So it's it's useful in setting profit targets. To draw it, for example, in an advancing of the price, we need three points, starting of the advance, ending of the advance, and ending of the pullback. So we use this tool after the pullback ended and the price is turning back in the direction of the prior advance. The important levels that you must watch with this tool are the ones starting from top of the advance because top of the advance itself is a resistance level preventing the price from going higher. For example, on this chart, you can see that here the pullback ended and the price is advancing to possibly make a higher high. This resistance level is broken and the price turned down here near the 78.6% level. Actually the price went up to near level 1 but these high prices rejected and here at this level the price turned down. Here again the pullback ended and the price started to advancing. Fibonacci extension is drawn for this advance and pullback and as you can see uh, the advancing of the price stopped here at 78.6%. Another type of Fibonacci tools that we can use is Fibonacci arcs that a kind of added time element to Fibonacci retracements. For drawing it, for example, in an uptrend, we click at the end of the advance and then beginning of the advance. And for downtrends, end of the decline and then beginning of the decline. As you can see, we have half circles that extend out from the trend line. The levels and percentages are similar to Fibonacci retracement tool and the use cases is also similar. The arcs show possible support and resistance levels as the price pullback. In advancing of the price, they show potential support or reversal zones for the pullbacks and in declines possible resistance levels. The only difference is that Fibonacci retracement levels are only concerned with the changes in the price but in Fibonacci arcs the time is also added as an element because the arcs are drawn from the end of the advance to the beginning of the advance at an angle that is also dependent on the elapsed time. It's a positive slope in the case of uptrend and a negative slope in the case of downtrend. The slope and length of the line depend on changes in both price and time. And another type of Fibonacci tool is Fibonacci fan, which like the other Fibonacci tools relies on Fibonacci ratios. For drawing it, we click on the starting point of the advance and then ending point of the advance and similarly for declines. And as you can see, we have a fan-like appearance. Fibonacci fan is used exactly like Fibonacci retracement to estimate support or resistance levels that act in the pullbacks. The only difference is that here our line becomes the diagonal for this rectangle and each side is categorized based on the Fibonacci ratios and then from the starting point we have diagonal lines to the Fibonacci ratios. 
And the last type of Fibonacci tool that I want to explain is Fibonacci time zone, which is more concerned with time. This tool actually divides the x-axis, the time on the chart, by the help of Fibonacci ratios. To draw it, we simply click on the beginning of the trend and then end of the trend. As you can see, some vertical lines based on Fibonacci numbers are added to the chart and extended to the future. The distances between the lines start relatively small and grow as the Fibonacci sequence increases. These vertical lines show potentially important areas to watch in the future. It's useful for trade confirmation when it coincides with other important levels like support and resistance levels or patterns. In cases that the trend line when drawing with this tool is short, chartists uh, usually ignore the first few lines uh, as the slow start in the Fibonacci numbers would create relatively tight clustering of these lines and the reliability increases in the higher sequences. Please pay attention that like any other tools in technical analysis you should never take your trading decisions only based on Fibonacci tools discussed in this video and these Fibonacci levels must be used in conjunction with other tools and aspects of technical analysis all right that's it thank you for watching this video if you have any questions feel free to ask and leave a comment for me I'll answer your questions as soon as possible if you found any value in this video please like it please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit the bell so you get the notifications of my new videos see you guys in next video and good luck with your trading